Hello everyone. Right, this is part two of Road to Thailand. Assuming that the government or various governments will actually allow me to travel. Right, I'm having my second golf lesson and I've made a slight cock up. I've forgotten to go to the machine and get cash, so I hope he's gonna take card. The way I describe my golf right now is I'm stuck between the old way and the new way, and this is why we have more than, uh, more than one lesson. I mean, you wouldn't attempt to, to pass your test in your car after just one lesson. So this is gonna be a course of lessons and hopefully it will all get better, but the good stuff is really good. Unfortunately, the bad stuff is really bad. Right, let's go indoors and we're in the studio because Matt wants to get some more data and some better video and help me get some better video. Uh, see you in a moment. That setup, so that's nice because that's all pre shot, isn't it? All the things you just talked about. Yeah. It's then wake the legs up, isn't it? Sometimes I feel like I'm spinning out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly on the videos I've, I've watched, but when I've sort of like over faded the driver, then there is a certain you've spun out of it. Start with a skinny one. Oh, no, modern golf is kind of. I mean, I don't like the blue root technical, but his his power squat they call it. Yeah. So for someone who's as good as you, you can think of it technically. The first move is really a shift. If you've ever skied, yeah. skiers find it easy because it's get on the edges. Yeah. And then it's a turn through. Yeah. So that's the feeling to stop the spinning. You're absolutely right when you spin out of it too much. Yeah. I'll stop shot. So just focus on the little lean towards the screen here as your first move at the top of the backswing. Like that, good. I have found like seven or eight yards with each club. Mm, yeah. Well you will do but because you use the big muscles look in your legs. Yeah. You use them. And there's some but the trouble is, is I'm trying to compete off the white tees while doing this yeah, and, yeah, yeah. It, and my handicap's just creeping up. When's the Thailand trip? March, I hope, if yeah, they'll so let us out of the country. Yeah, so let's remember that's that is, our goal, isn't it? That's, a, that's our goal, to go to March and, and, and play. be hitting these nice shots. And that's what you've got to remember is, it's annoying and your handicap's creeping up, but by the time March comes, we'll have this and you'll be hitting that 10 yards further every time with the leg action. We can but hope. On that and I've, yeah, I've but yeah, everyone has a shape. Half a club. I'll, I'll show you the video in a minute. I think you're a little inside still. Yeah, it's producing the draw. But everyone has a shape. That's only drawn ten yards. Yeah. If Rory draws it twenty yards, but he does it every time. Yeah. Now if we consistently do that, we just aim ten yards right. Yeah. And you're a drawer of the ball because that was a good golf shot. You struck it well. It's a nice shape. That's what we're going to call your stock shot if we do that nine out of ten times. Yeah. That becomes your stock shot. We just aim and in here because it's so square. If you look at the screen, what we actually do is we do that. So we still, right. so we still. So if you give me the same golf swing, hopefully, you want me to go down. Just this aim right? square to this map. Pretend I've square not changed that. Just do the same as you did last time. Well, I'll try. I just feel like I'm catching a fraction on the up uh, every now and then. Does that. I don't know what the psychology is behind this, but every time I move that line, the next shot everyone hits is straight down the line. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> every time, without fail. So just is that GC Quad? Yeah. They're not cheap, are they? 25 grand. Ouch. Mm. I've lost finesse shots, if you see what I mean. Because yeah. I'm just doing this. Mm. The idea of floating a seven iron to a front right flag is, is gone, for the moment. Oh, that was as fat as the white last. It's at the top, that. 
to edit that off your video before she hears it. Well, I've got to chop it down anyway to a few bits. So here we, here oh, we are. Cool. <coughs> I yeah. didn't realise that camera up there. So a little bit more handling, a little bit sharpening, isn't it? It's better because you're almost behind yeah. the ball first lesson. You're now level, so it's improved. Yeah. But for me, you could just go another half an inch. Okay. Okay. And there's a sweat. Yeah. Yeah. So I love this camera angle because of this black line here. Gives us a lovely reference point. Must be up there somewhere. Yeah. So it's it's great, isn't it? Because let's call that what's that? Your your ear is eight inches from that black line, isn't it? Yeah. And then and then yeah, yeah. you're right over there I've, now. I've gone. Yeah. I've You've gone turned backwards. really nicely, uh, Simon, in your hips and shoulders. It's a really nice golf swing. I'd like you to keep more width. I know you said you can't, you've got arm it's, issues, but that's fine. Oh yeah. And it's that, it's that throwing, you've disconnected there yeah. from your body. The actual weight shift, if you look at this golf bag now for me, this towel on my bag, yeah. there is a little drive, lovely look, lovely little drive forward there now, but you've just gone, haven't yeah. you? You've, you've let it all go. Yeah. It's a trust thing. You feel like if you keep this and do this, you're going to bury the club in the ground about foot behind the ball. You've got to train yourself out of that because it's a really nice weight shift. Fair play to you from the first lesson. You, you stayed back on that um, <coughs> right leg and didn't shift anything this way. And you almost cover my, my ball pocket on my bag there. Look at that. Lovely. So, Apart from your arms separating from your body. Well, I've, as I say, I found extra yardage with every club. Yeah, you've definitely, definitely improved. And um, that's great. And how how compact does that look? That's that's better than my reach for it. Sort but of. It looks lovely. It looks really lovely. I think. It's a little inside still, isn't it? Yeah, that one was a. Oh, hang on, I'm going the wrong way. Where's my? Where's my uh, I've lost my controls. Slow that down a bit. I see what you mean about coming in here and getting better video. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's better than the. F for someone like you, that's you can understand the technicality of it. It's great. So you're there, look. You've let those hands go. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's bold and yeah. it's inside. At this point here, when the golf club's parallel to the ground, you should be here. You are here all the time until you're out in front of you. Yeah. And it's not, it, it's actually two, you, you've got two active hands, haven't you? I've, I've, I've seen, I looked up some video from about 2013 that uh, Nick, you? Nicky at Gloucester. Yeah. And, yeah. Driving a bus between my arm and my chest is, yeah. is a... Yeah. It's an old thing, isn't it? I mean, that's... You just got to clue that there at address. Mm. Make even more... It's the old rosy thing, isn't it? Tuck your shirt in. Yeah. And, and, and hold it there. And, and get, a, get this passive hand, so the hands don't do anything. Remember first lesson, we said it's all torso, you're going to get a bit like this. Yeah. So it's out in front of you, because all you do is you're, you're, you're a handsy golfer, you've got good eye and hand coordination, but you do that. Yeah, I bow that Yeah, yeah. so you and, flip it and, inside. I'm lost from there. But well, so it shows how good your hand and high coordination is, because you know you've lost it, so at the top, you've got to throw your arms at it here to, to save yourself. It's why you're a good golfer. But you could be, you could be more consistent and a better golfer if you, don't, if you stop doing it. I, which I, is what I don't feel like a good golfer when I'm shooting 11 over. No, 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 but we're, <laughs> yeah, I know it's tough for you, but your scores at the moment are relevant, you know. But look how flat this plane is. Yeah. Now that's your shaft there. It's, it's, it's hitting the GC quad, not the ball. But you'll see how much you throw it over the top. I'll get this video back here. Look how much steeper it is there now. Yes. It's, it's the wrong way around. Yes, yes. That is, that is ten times better. Can you show me one of the good swings? <laughs> <laughs> was, was there one? I'll do, I'll do a slow-mo one so we get that slower. But that's ten times better. Yeah. So I think, you know, from first lesson, nine out of ten for me. There's bits yeah. we've got to work on and that's my point. We're aiming at March. Well, well, you know, these technical, technical this, bits aren't going to come overnight. Well, this is at least four lessons. Hmm. And probably a short game lesson because my short game is a bit stinky as well. <laughs> right, so we want to go back there. Yes, out wide. Keep your arms on your chest. Relax those hands, mate. That's a hit. Compared to... Yeah. The last one. But why? Because you didn't let your hands flip. I didn't, go, I didn't you go, go that this. way. Yeah, you used the big part of the body. Yeah. It's the, the, this muscle will never beat this muscle. And the boys and girls hit the ball so far because they use their trunk, yeah. big muscles, and that big muscle. This just holds it up. Yeah. You're very flippy. And that one, big muscles have done it, and you haven't flipped it inside. 
That was a nice swing, that. Please fast forward this because we did a bit of talking beforehand. You know, you do the classic in here, save it, do this, isn't it? Yeah. So it's the, you know, and you can get the pulley left one that you get or it cuts back and your driver fades. Yeah. You've got to stand there and completely exaggerate it because in golf, the biggest issue is feel and real. What you feel you're doing isn't what you're really doing. Oh, I do. So yeah. you've got to stand there and feel like this. Yeah? Yeah. So you've got to stand at some silly swings at the range, get out there, drop it in here. So you've, you're creating this move, not your move. I wish I could. Over the top. You'll get it. You'll get it. You'll, you'll easily get it. Oh, you've only hit that 145. That's perfect. You're, um, you're a good enough golfer to get that. But try one that's really overdone. Right out there and feel this loop behind you. Yeah. You're almost trying to hit me, that's why I've stood here. Sorry, I'm in the way of your camera. It's all right. And drop it, that's it. Do one of those. You just, you'll be surprised when you get hold of one. Let's see if I can. I'd hate to have to do this on the golf course. That felt very peculiar. Mm. Because it's something I haven't done for but years. Look at the result. I mean, you've hit it 163. It was a little bit toey, wasn't it, I think? I don't know. It, it didn't feel too much toe, but I didn't bring any tape with me tonight. I Keep forgot. that left bicep on your chest. Don't let it leave. Now come out to me with the chest. I mean, they're all in play, is the other thing, aren't they? Yeah, they're There's all in play. There's nothing, you know. We're not getting any red arrows going on here. Keep that left arm on the chest and swing it out to me and drop it behind you. I've got so little confidence out there now because mm. I've been beaten up by this you're golf gonna, course. You're going to have, have, aren't you? Yeah. And the worst place to be on the golf course when you're having less uh, when you're having lessons is on the golf course. You know, you you just like playing a lot, don't you? You need to be hitting balls a lot. And like you said, I, when I you haven't got a grass range, it's difficult. I, I do practice a lot. That triangle stays in place, doesn't it? So this, yeah, this stays squeezed here. This triangle, shoulders and arms. Yeah. You haven't done much shoulder turn there. It's the turn there. Triangle still in place. Yeah. Then we're up, and then we flatten shaft. Inside. Just got to train that takeaway. Yeah. Again, you very much just flip that in there. Hit the red tee peg with your chest too. Your chest is starting to relax, with not your arms. Chest, right. Brilliant, well done. It's skinny. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit on the other You're not going to, you're thinking a lot, aren't you? I First thing in a lot. lesson that goes is your sequence and your timing. Oh, yeah. You're listening to me, I'm waffling on, I'm putting your. I always think everyone's best hour is the next hour and they can remember what I've said, but you can stand there in your own time and work on it without someone waffling on at you. Well, it's nice to see that I'm actually hitting it past what I think I'm hmm. hitting it. You know, the 144 carry that I thought I had. Sure, it's one the screen's mine. Overdo it, out to me here, wide. Right. Well, that's seven to eight yards beyond yeah. my, what I yeah. think I carry this club. So it's all fit, longer the leave the more power, physics. You keep it wide. Yeah. When you're introducing the big boys. So as you go as wide, really wide, one, almost over the corner of that mat. Out there? Yeah, perfect. Really overdo it. That felt like I was going to hit the side yeah. wall with the ball. Hmm. It felt like I was really hitting out there. Yeah, feeling real. Look at the oh, yeah, it's there. gone down the it's gone down the stripe. 
But that's a brilliant that's brilliant feedback for me to coach you because now if you don't feel that, you're gonna do your old swing and pull it left. Yeah. There's gotta be that exaggerated. It's just because it's new to you. Well I may have done it twenty years ago, I can't remember. Like quite low before. Well, Twenty years ago, I was always trying to knock the cover off the ball. Mm. Little bit, little little sway, but better. Look at the result. Bang at it. And I've moved that flag to one fifty now, by the way. Have you? Yeah. I feel like I'm unwinding up rather than unwinding down from the ground. I feel like it's actually. Uh, Changing. I think I think he's done really well. Vastly improved in my eyes. The things like the sway and this takeaway, that, that's yeah. that's the rest of your golfing life. Yeah. It's your fault that you're always gonna creep if you just hit balls for a week with the lads in Spain for a month or, yeah. you're gonna go back to taking it inside and swaying. So oh, yeah. you've always got to stay on top of, squeeze knee in and feel like I'm going out here. Well I I normally start the year with lessons mm. and then if I'm going away I, I end the year with mm. lessons. It's I'm always dropping into bad habits. Everyone does. Why do the Roaring Tiger have coaches? Exactly. You know, they, 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 the bad habits are going to sneak in, isn't it? So it's going to feel... Oh. They don't roll those hands so much when you're getting that shut face. Yeah. So it's chest, not hands. Out there, wide. Good. And then mm -hmm. out there. And Perfect. Actually release it. Inside. Yeah, yeah. It's so way different. That one looking down at it, you went there and in, and those others were like out there. Out there. And hence we've hit the pool. <coughs> so, it's, so it's nice because it makes sense now to me. Yeah. As soon as I saw that, I thought he was going to pull this, and he pulls it. I forget things. There's so much going on, I yeah. forget things. Like, yeah. get on your toes. And Hands a fraction further forward, remember? Now your chest is going to take it out over the corner of the mat. Shot. That was nice. That really felt like I was going to hit yeah. the ball into the side wall. Look at the result. Ridiculous result. Not bad for an old man. Very, very good. You've got this, you've just got to ingrain it. Oh yeah. You've absolutely got this. You can't hit shots like that if you want to have understood it and two, got the physical capability of doing it. Yeah. You've done it. It's just now making you do it nine out of ten and not one out of ten, isn't it? And that's it where is. we get scared on the golf course, because you're there playing for your couple of quid with your mates, and you revert back to, I feel safe with my old swing. Well, I'll, I'll string, I'll actually string together seven or eight holes, mm. and then I'll throw in a couple of doubles, mm. which, when you're a short handicap, two doubles is, is the end it's of your round. Hand. Well, not the end of your round, but you know, it's the end of your your attempt at getting your handicap cut. Mm. Hands forward, your chest is taken outside the corner of the mat. Shot. Very good shot. That's beautiful. I don't feel like I've hit the ball like this in years. eight or nine years. Yeah. Superb. And the scattergram the graph, I think people don't look at it a lot. I, I, I do. Because this is about kind of percentage of consistency. I mean, that's my rubbish one. That's your little shank. That's your ball. Yeah. I mean, already, give or take what you said, you get the odd flyer. Yeah. You, you, you're producing a lovely grouping of the ball. A good pattern, which yeah. that's the important thing on the golf course, isn't it? Your, your consistency, your grouping. You've got some, and we can get a stock shot out of that and then play to it. One of my best features is hitting the ball the right distance. That was a slightly yeah, look, it was, I like that slightly one. skinny one. That's not your Sunday best, but look at the result. Yeah. <laughs> that's, this is repetitive and repeatable. Th that's, so that's that wasn't your Sunday down. best and you've got a 10 foot putt. <laughs> yeah. 12 foot 2 inches. Right. Yeah. 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 The best way to describe it, white tee on, on 11. Um, I would be thinking of, well I'll just hit a fadey 7 iron mm. in there, because it's 143 yards. I'm taking an eight yeah. and, and flushing it. Using your legs. I only wish I could sort out the 
3rd and the 17th, and the 12th and the 15th. <laughs> right, nice and wide. That's a feeling I've not had, mm. is this part unwinding first. You're the ground, yeah. You can use your ground force, aren't you? It's why the boys and girls are telling you so far, every ounce of their body is going that way. Yeah. You, you won't get told off for falling that way. The old jokey Happy Gilmore, the point is, is everything's going that way. Seven used to do it in the, the 70s. Yeah. With that funny finishing walking forward. Everything's going that way, you, every ounce of your body's into the shot. You're also going to fall in a bit that way, fall in this, fall, you're losing some sort of power because your body's going in the wrong direction. If, if we wound the clock back 20 years to say age 35, mm. a lot of my practice was the feet together because mm. I'm trying to quieten this down. Because mm. I'm driving so hard that I'm never getting the club head so back to the ball. Yeah. Good grief. This is better than sex. Right. Just relax your forearms, because I'm getting pumped up. Oh, that was inside. that was the bad one. Inside, yeah. That was. But with your video rolling, you'll see these when you get home. Oh yeah. yeah. Within the first two foot, I thought this is going left because you were far more inside than that. That white mark on the putt out mat behind you. Look. Yeah. That that you should be able to get see out that more of your eye. You want to be outside that with your chest, not your hands and arms. That wasn't the best, but it's usable. Yeah. But again, that's the difference. You're calling that not the best, it's carried 150 and you're 80, 16 foot from the bin. <laughs> if that's your bad shot next year, we're going to do alright, aren't we? We're going to do alright. Mm. I just hope we don't get locked down again, because then that will really... So? I don't think we will, we? I, I, I don't think they've got, got the balls. To live with it. Yeah. Out wide, overdo it. Perfect. Love that takeaway. Pull it straight. Follow the line. 157 carry. And it was out there. Smidge of fade. Felt so good. Very nice shot. Could you take from the little? That was a bit yeah, inside the little. Yeah. In. Lose the roll in the hands. Remember, again. Oof. You don't want these back, do you? A little bit inside on the tip, a little bit towards the toe. Yeah. Swing. Uh, that was a bit of anti left in that one. That was a lot better. That was lovely. A little baby tape. Okay. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers. So that's everything you need to know about your swing, isn't it? Into out. Yeah, into out. Action. Face open. open. Strikes out the middle of those clubs. You know, this is your this is your yeah. strike pattern. And that's how we do fitting. You know, that red line should match that dotted line, so you're pretty yeah. spot on there. Striking down. Five and a half thousand. Four, four down, yeah. With small than clubs is about six thousand for a seven iron, isn't it? It used to be a thousand times the club, but yeah, it did. with the yeah. strength and loss. And that's that's your swing. Yeah. Well that time because I was trying to avoid the that 
chunky mm. one. I've, I've gone slightly out, haven't I? The, it's nothing. No. And it also is not bad because this is going to be used to draw and you've left the face. So actually, you take that 2.3 off that and it's, yeah, you know, you're 8.8 .8 off perfect, really. Is that 28 RPM of side spin? Yeah. <laughs> That's nothing. Yeah, yeah. And then the last one is just your ball float, which is obviously straight because you did so well. Can I look at my setup position with a longer club? Mm -hmm. So for me, just while we recap, we're doing everything right, we're going in the right direction. Yeah. Your, next, your next lesson is that, isn't it? Just work on that, and for me a bit less of this. Yeah. That open, it, for me, is when you just never get the hands back because you have that roll. Yeah. Very passive hands on the takeaway. This drill here, if I'm hitting the ball here, corner them out there. Get it out there. It's close to us in, in old time terms, doesn't yeah. it? But it's a much safer shot to kind of rip your body through and not lose it left. Quick. I'm not gonna actually gonna hit it. I just want you to You can hit it if you want. Just have a practicing slow motion for this just to check this wall. Behind you you should be fine. Just do a slow practice swing. What I've what I've found when I've put something like say, yeah. a three wood in my hand is I'm still thinking, oh, I've got to get my hands forward, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Very I've kind of like lost. Yeah. Yeah. I've kind of lost my track with the longer club. So uh, I feel the ball position is is okay. Forward, yeah. But I find myself going, oh, I've got to get my hands no, forward. No, yeah, we don't do that. Very straight shaft. That's fine there. Um, just have a practice swing time. If you just take that slow and just check you're not going to hit that wall. So I've got to get it out yeah. there. Right. I don't do a lot of work with my long clubs. I, I just, tend to, tend to do the mid iron, then at the end of the session I'll hit three three woods and three drivers. Let's just get one video, just let you know this ball. Just have a set of the ball, just have a practice, slow swing. Just, you're not going to hit that wall, I don't think, but it's always better just to check. Take it to the there. top. Yeah, you might as well. Right, let's just hit one. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I'll hit something. No, yeah, you might as well. Trust me. forward and get it wide. See I feel now that I've got extra mm -hmm. extra couple of inches here I'm thinking is that right? Is that wrong? You, you can never hit the ball when you're full of doubt. Just a ever so slight push. I'm sure you change the yardage and into, the, into the woods we go. With How far do you normally hit this? I don't know. 200? Uh, three wood, off the flat, I'd hope it would roll out to about 230, 200 and something carry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just hit one more. Come on, I've oh, got to get it closer to the machine and there for the space. Yeah, I would hope somewhere around, if, you know, if I was hitting this off the first tee box, I'd hope to go 230 or more, but then it is downhill. Nice enough. Carrying 195. I think 200 carrying is reasonable. Like I say, roll out 230. Yeah. So there you are, you're up on the telly again. You don't look too far from it, do you? Sorry? You don't look too far from it at a dress. No. It's a straight down, but it's fine. I have got me three wood, haven't I? <laughs> it won't be the first time I've pulled the roll. That look, Simon. That hand roll. That hand roll. It's taking you in there. Look at that, the frame before that. Lovely again. But I'm that, just one, that one frame, you just let that wrist bow. You need to start hinging it up. Okay, we'll try. Wide passive take and hinge up. And just, just hung on the back leg there as well. 
you've got weight transfer on that isn't quite as good as your iron was. You're just there. Yeah. You've got and that's that's trust, isn't it? You've got to learn to trust you can fire those legs as hard as you can with the iron. That's the forward position at Simon on the telly. Right. Do a crash position. It's just a bit lazy, isn't mm -hmm. it? Just get that power squat going and drive yourself towards the screen. Swing. That's the one. So as soon as you introduce that drive. Yeah. Different, different league. You drove yourself, the power squat there, wasn't it, towards the screen. You got yourself 30 more yards. Well, 22, 23 carry extra yards. <sighs> God, this is hard, man. It's working though, isn't it? It is. I just have one. I don't like to beat balls with the long clubs because you just tire yourself out, really. Sunday best, it's a little squirted right, but it felt really nice. It's two strips wide in the room, it's not off the planet. No, it's not off the planet, yeah. it's, it's, it's on the fairway. You, you just hit a few three words and you scatter the ground, it's still tight. Wow, Good. thank you very much. No, that's awesome, You're heading in exactly the right direction. It doesn't quite happen so much on the course. It's not going to, is it? No. Okay. So that's the Road to Thailand part two, my second lesson. Um, for the record, it's the 20th of September so you know it's, it's still a long way away but wow I mean that gives me some serious hope all right the next as I found out after the first lesson golf is going to be a little bit painful and the next few weeks golf is going to be a little bit painful and I got to stick with it and I got to do what I'm told and all of a sudden golf will become an absolute joy again Hope there's some useful video amongst this lot. I'll see you, find out next time I'm sat in front of the computer and chop it up. But, cheerio.